Well, my question, why are people so comfortable with their slavery? The Matrix movie was about the right of self-determination. And they've got all the little scenes in there, the woman in the red dress, where he says that most people are so inert and so enamored with the system, they're going to fight to defend it. Mm -hmm. When he looks at the woman in the red dress, he says, are you paying attention to me? Or are you looking at the woman in the red dress? And he says, look again. And there's the agent standing there with a gun. He said, this is another training program to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. And mm -hmm. us means those that are out of the matrix, those that have variation by agreement, those who have taken the key master's key and gone through that doorway to operate with the matrix, run parallel with the matrix like Zion did, which was the moral of the story. How is Zion going to go to peace and coexist with the matrix still running? Because the matrix rebooted, it reloaded for those that still are in the matrix and are going to fight to defend it. The goal of the education is not to sit idle and learn. The goal is to get out of this system. And people say, well, there's not a step-by-step. -step. And I'm like, well, there's never been a step-by-step -step for the right of self-determination. I mean, the founding fathers didn't have a step-by-step, -step, but they did the first step was the declaration. Then they pledged their life, fortune, and honor. Well, if they didn't have a fortune to pledge, if they didn't have resources to pledge, they couldn't participate because they had no choice but to fight to defend it because that's their livelihood. That's how they get fed.